All right, all right, all right. Here is a new game. <laughs> Unfortunately, I've already mi you've missed recording a lot of the opening because the scene defaults to full screen and not windowed. And it doesn't have much in the way of window options. I, in order for it to be windowed for me to see, speaking of which, I need to change out a few things, minimize a few windows, the OBS on top screen. Uh, I saw this. I saw it being reviewed on Odyssey and decided to. Uh, it's a little bit loud in my ear. Again, everything's always loud in my ear. I may have to one, run this through the. I may have to run this through the audio game function on Handbrake later. Apparently there's like this big whole huge opening cinematic. All right, I just hit exit. Let's try and bring it up again. Uh, give me a couple seconds here. I didn't put an icon on the desk. Oh wait, there it is. I'll set it up there. Oh, nice. Now I've got the flute. Uh... Uh... Maybe there's a, a file somewhere that can help me out. The kingdom of Faramore knew peace for an age. A beautiful, bountiful land. It has been ruled by the royal Rockland family for generations. Such tranquility Wait, is that? could not last. Is that no nice? Opposed to this peace was the evil demon lord, Dimer, who amassed an army of evil in an effort to conquer the land and plunge it into eternal darkness. Driven by greed and power, Several defected to Dimer's cause, like Duke Nodelki, lord of the island nation of Amalog. Long battles ensued, with hope fading from the hearts of the people. In a desperate measure, the king and his royal advisor, Wagram, directed an assault upon Dimer's lair in the country of Ocarin. After clearing a path, the Princess Arzette and an unlikely hero, Dale, confronted the Demon King. As Dale distracted Dimer, Arzette, well-versed in both sword fighting and magic, imprisoned the Demon King in the Book of Ocarin, a magical prison controlled by the Jewel of Faramore. Upon Dimer's capture, his dark army was vanquished, ensuring victory for the forces of good. Upon each use, the Jewel of Faramore shatters, Following Dimer's defeat, the king ordered each of the five jewel shards to be guarded at separate locations in perpetuity. After the war's end, the traitorous Duke Nodelki was sentenced to a lifetime of hard labor. Dale retired as a bard on the spoils of his adventure. Princess Arzette continued to train, swearing to uphold what they fought for. To that end, Peace persisted in the kingdom of Faramore. We're a lazy ass. For a little that over guy. a decade. Yeah, I saw this reviewed on some channel on Odyssey and, got, and liked it what I saw and went ahead and spent the $20 to buy it. So I'm gonna get some juice out of this game. Now people complain about seventy dollars for a game. Now I bought um, Creon Conquest for twenty dollars, brand new, and that was on sale. Yeah, go at normal. Ten years of scrubbing floors. 
Finding these jewel shards was no easy task, but now... Long last, I have returned! Nodoki, for freeing me, I offer you power. Y yes, Master. Th th thank you. In exchange for thy soul. Uh, of course, Master. Very good. Henceforth, you'll have the power to crush your foes in my name. Now, on to other matters. Master! Isn't this how Silverhawk started? My trusted servants, I am pleased you've not forgotten me. Take each of these shards and guard it with your life so that I may never be imprisoned again. My revenge will be unforgiving. The punishment will be eternal. This kingdom will be mine! Our worst fears have come true! Jimer and his minions have returned! That's impossible! What about the Jewel of Faramore? Oh, our vigilance waned. The Jewel Shards are with the enemy. Ah, easy peasy. We just gotta get the Jewel back together and trap him in that old book, right? Ugh, if only a dark fog has filled the land. It prevents our approach. Your eyes cannot see daylight out there. What about the sacred beacons? They weakened Dimer before. I'm afraid that due to complacency, they've been left unlit. Well, oh, that's so much for all that training. Oh well, what can we do? Well, as you know, only a member of the royal family can rekindle the beacons. I'm ready. Well, I'm not. Another issue. My scouts report sightings of dark tapestries that impede critical paths. Oh, oh, not a problem. My ancestors hid sacred candles throughout the kingdom Elvis. that can burn these tapestries. That settles it then. Another fun adventure for me to stay out of. Where must I go? <laughs> I place teleportation scrolls throughout the kingdom that you may use, so long as the dark fog around them has been dispelled. I'll be leaving then. Good luck! Get back before dinner! Be safe, my daughter. Want to defeat Dimer? Let's get started. Move left or right to start running. Press jump to leap. Jumping into action. Press attack to slash your sword. Hey, you have a smart sword. It interacts with both objects and people. It hurts only those that aren't friendly. Get some bombs by slashing that bag. I guess I have the bombs? Press item to use items. Try bombing some columns. Moving up, Should I go back for more to bombs? enter doors and climb ladders. Go in that door. You can crouch by moving down. Moving while crouching lets you duck walk. This old trick gets you into tight spaces. Your magic pouch holds your items. You can select items here, view your quest status, and set options. So much space, huh? Some paths are closed to you until you have the right tools. Keep that in mind while you explore. Remember I get to another light one? sacred beacons. They'll open new areas, so be sure to find them. Controls are pretty good. Tell 
teleportation scrolls allow you to exit to the world map quickly. Go ahead, take off! Well, what are you waiting for? Defeat Dimer and have some fun! to the door and not all the way the hell back. The way I was warned about you get some of these tend to be kind of walky. over there it looks like. Finally sent someone to kill me. All right, make it snappy. I'm sure you got places to go, other people to kill. Uh, no, who would do that? Oh. Uh, you? My name is Cypress. 
I want to move into town, but the mayor thinks I'm a monster man. I don't think that. Really? You don't think I'm a disgusting, rabid nut? You think you could convince the mayor to let me move in then and stop thinking I'm the wolf among us? If you do, this old lantern is yours! Thank you. Which is more than I get in Mega Man Maker sometimes. What's that, Ryu? I'm starting to like this game a lot. I did not like this game a whole lot. It's good, but a lot of these guys are like one hit wonders and stuff. Zed. Ho ho! You've already lit a beacon! I doubt the rest will be that easy. Any new info? Mm, indeed. My scouts have reported blockades enchanted with color magic. How am I supposed to get through them? You'll need a tool that can fire magic of the same color. Great. Something else I have to find. Careful, RZ! <laughs> You'll get red in the face! <laughs> Ugh, tell me there's only one color to deal with. Mm, to my knowledge, there are three types of color magic. <sighs> Don't look so blue, princess. I'm going back now. Oh, good. I've opened up more area, so... I think I still got more stuff to find there. I'll go here. A cave system's nearby! Throw a bomb and you'll be spelunking in no time. I... I'll take a look. Not so fast. If you run out of light, you might not make it back. Take this. If you use rope in dark places, you'll escape back to safety. I appreciate it. I... <laughs> so I guess that's what the lantern's for. Earlier, 
Struck luck, my friend. These wares aren't elsewhere. My goods will improve your fortunes so long as you improve mine. Damn, that's expensive. Something special though with that little sword of yours, just drop by and I'll give it a shellac. <laughs> Isn't the world just so bleak? I wouldn't say that. <laughs> it is! Oh, I resolved to see all colors, not just what these puny eyes can show me. I will alchemize these shrimp goggles. You'll see. Or rather, I'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Just a look on her face. <laughs> it might wind up being the... So where's the mayor of the town? Mayor, please grant Cypress Town citizenship. That priestly brute! 
that snivelly hound here in my Pokhara Damon? Never! You know, my smart sword doesn't hurt friendly folks. You're not being very friendly. Citizenship to Mr. Cypress granted. Ahoy! ahoy. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's the way it is. I declare this the safest place in the land. And rabble rousers and mischief makers have no quarter with me. The crown is ever grateful for your service. Anything to report? Rumors speak of strange scrolls that allow you to teleport to special areas. Special areas? Places that test your metal and reward you with riches. Oh, if I could teleport. I'd find these scrolls and <laughs> halt, ne'er do well. -a. Oh, your grace! <laughs> At ease, Univor. Did I surprise you? The good kind of surprise, not like running out of supplies. You don't want to be caught without a bomb in a hard place. I'll remember that. Keep up the good work. Yes, princess. I surely... You know, I'm oddly reminded of somebody I knew way back when I was a private. What's in this tower over here? You gotta get up. Not locked. I guess that's the key. Hey, want one on the house, princess? No, thank you. Say, that's a smith's anvil behind you, isn't it? Ah, uh, yes. I was a great blacksmith in a past life. I dreamed of forging the ultimate weapon. But alas, those days are gone. Please, go on. Well, this dream weapon needs refined chains and sacred oil. Problem is, they're impossible to get. The oil's kept by some unbeatable wizard in a dungeon, and I have no idea about the chains. I'd go investigate it myself, but you know, I am but a mere small, timid man. A great big muscular warrior is what we need. Hmm. Well, I'll get the oil and find the chains for you. Uh, you know, I, I couldn't ask. Yes, but you're not asking. I will do this. Anything else? Oh, here's the key to the dungeon with the oil. Good luck with that. My only tip is to help folks in need. That'll probably steer you on the right path. Mmm, you got an eye for beauty, don't you? I suppose... I lost my husband in the war. He was turned into a creature, got bombed. Boom! <laughs> Shook the whole room, I tell you. He never gave me the jewelry I wanted. Bring me something starry, will ya? In return, I have something to quench your thirst. <laughs> Young little kitten. Hey, look everyone, it's the princess! I'm pretty sure they can see me. Yeah, but you always gotta be mindful of what's around you. If you see anything nasty coming your way, you gotta knock it away with your weapon. <laughs> Is this the broken drum? It's important later on. He can't do, he can't jump down through the... There's some places to go to up there later on. It sounds like...
like about a four-hour game. Go back here and find Wolfie, too. at the newest citizen of Faramore Town. Really? I can't believe it! Thanks! Oh, right! Have a lantern. See you around, kiddo! I think I need lamp oil now. Save, so I think this is a good spot to stop for right now and take it up again another. 